What's happening guys? It's Matthew Ogus, Legends of Aesthetics.com. I have a workout vlog for here, guys. This is from my deadlift day, which was Tuesday, March the 5th, 2014. Finally back from the Arnold Expo down there in Columbus, Ohio. Didn't get much sleep. Averaged about three-ish hours per night down there with a couple nights of zero sleep. Uh, so just before hitting this workout, I actually had slept for 15 hours straight from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m., which was insane. Uh, went to this workout with absolutely no food in me and actually weighed myself after that 15-hour slumber. Weighed in at 177.5 pounds. And uh, before I left to the Arnold Expo, my weight was averaging around 182 to 183, somewhere in between there. So I'm hitting this uh, a little bit lighter than what I'd normally be, about four to five pounds. So I knew that this workout was going to be tough because for the previous three, four, five days, I wasn't getting as much food in me as normal, as well as I was uh, spending much more calories uh, than normal just from walking around a ton, being on my feet all day, and also just engaging in lots of conversations. Uh, it actually spends quite a bit of energy. So this is 500 right here, and I wanted to at least match my two sets of three. Uh, I went for this first set. I knew it was going to be hard. Uh, it kind of sucked me in the face, though, with how hard it really was. I was like, holy shit. Can I even get two? Can I get three? I have no idea. So I went for the next one. And here it is right here um, with my my big goal before moving up in weight or, or anything was was going for uh, four sets of three with 500 pounds on this deadlift. So second set looks like it's going well so far. Uh, you can tell that I'm not as I'm not as like I'm not as I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm not hitting this as as well as you saw me hit my last uh, excuse me sumo deadlift workout. Going for this third set, and this is where shit gets really, 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 really tough really fast. So, going for this third set of the 500 right here. Um, okay, am I ever going to actually bend down and get it? There we go. It was funny because like, I felt like I almost forgot how to sumo deadlift going into this workout. It was like I had to relearn it. It just felt so foreign. But anyways, first rep looks good. And it looks like I kind of went down a little prematurely. I didn't even hold it up at the top at long at all and you see me fidgeting my hands as i was doing after i hit that first rep my thumb felt like it was about to explode it felt like one of my thumbs was uh wasn't uh wasn't like my right thumb i felt like i didn't place my hand the same as my right hand so i was like really self-conscious about my hand placement at this point uh on top of my hands feeling extremely raw like my hand my skin felt like it was going to crack open my thumb felt like it was going to pop. So I'm hella self-conscious. I'm just like, am I, am, are my hand placements right? Is this right? Are my hands, ro is one hand more rotated or less rotated? And actually, it looks like my left hand is slightly, uh, maybe it's just the angle, but it looked like it was a little bit um, over or under rotated compared to my right hand. And uh, I almost died after that set. That, that was like a really, really long set of just three reps. And I actually threw up in my mouth a little on the second one. Uh, so it was kind of like, what the fuck? Anyways, had to really freaking so um, just just really pump myself up for this last set. So fourth set of three at a really low weigh-in of 177 and a half for me. So this is like a huge, huge, extremely huge um, body weight PR for me as well as all-time you know volume PR with 500 pounds. So finishing this bad boy up. Come on, you can do it, man. Boom. First rep, good. Come on, get it. Second rep, good. Come on, man, you got more of this shit. You can get this shit, come on. Get it. Boom. And I was happy with that set because I actually uh, held it at the top for at least for a split second. So at that point, I I think I turned the camera off prematurely or something, but I was like, I'm not sure if I'm... <laughs> I'm Matt Ogus or Bryce Lewis right now. I felt really good after hitting that 500 for four sets of three. Um, after that, I went over to these uh, front squats, and my oh, for the past we few weeks, I've been feeling just weirdness in my right uh, quad, really at the bottom, um, kind of like on the teardrop connecting to my knee, as well as my left leg. Like both of my both of the 
my my uh, lower 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 quads have been feeling kind of weird, really where it meets the knee. So um, just be kind of careful, and it's worst when I'm not doing any sort of squats, when I'm just you know going from day to day life, sitting in my car, um, extending my foot, or just sitting on the couch extending my my leg. Like on the plane, if I did it, it would hurt. Uh, so I, I decided to only do that one set of front squats, and I moved on to some Romanians, did about four sets of eight with this, and I'm currently on 240 pounds. Uh, what I've been doing is that every every time I'm doing my, uh, this isn't Romanians, this is a, uh, a stiff leg deadlift. But every time I've been doing my uh, stiff leg deadlifts, I've been increasing the weight five pounds, and I'll probably keep that up until I get to 275 pounds in which I'll probably hit that weight for two weeks before raising five pounds and so on and keep increasing my way up. But who knows, maybe I'll just go all the way to 315 before um, slowing down the progression. So far, the movement's been looking better and better over time, and I've been really happy with it. This felt a little weird. I'm not used to using a yoga mat for this. I'm used to having a tampon or a uh, pussy pad or whatever you want to call it on the bar. So it was a little bit weirder with this yoga mat. Um, first set kind of looked like shit. I ended up with two sets of this, hit my calves afterwards, and I pretty much called it a day after that. I had to go because the gym was closing. So, yeah, that's it for this uh, workout session of this vlog. Um, Try to get some food in me, baby. Home from the gym, had to get the Adalberto's. I'm so starving. I haven't eaten anything. Today's my first meal. And it's midnight, it's basically the next day, so I had zero macros today except this little ice cream right here. <sighs> but hey, new episode of True Detective, really excited. Such a good show. Equip me, little bitch! Oh, his cake!